Hello guys and welcome back to your own channel Explore Electronics. Today we are going to discuss another interesting topic that is transducers. Transducers are one of the most important part of electronics as it is a device that converts one form of energy to another. Here are some images of different types of transducer. Have a look. Further in the video we will discuss and come to know that how they are very useful to us. Now there we come to our types of transducer. It can be simply divided into five types that is active transducer, passive transducer, sensors, actuators and bidirectional transducers. The whole electronics revolve around these five transducer and need of transducer can be seen in various places like shopping malls, theaters etc. Come let's know about them each of them in detail. Let's start with passive transducer. It requires an external power source to operate. This is called an excitation signal. The signal is modulated by the sensor to produce an output signal. For example, a thermistor does not generate any electrical signal, but by passing an electric current through it, its resistance can be measured by detecting variation in the current or voltage across the thermistor. Here are some examples of passive transducer like LDR, speakers, etc. Further coming on to active transducer, we can say that they generate electrical signals in response to external stimulus without the need of an addition energy sources such as photodiodes, thermocouples, etc. And here are some images of active transducers. Just have a look. Now coming on to one of my favorite topic that is sensors. Sensors is a device that receive and respond to signal or stimulus. Transducer is other term that is sometimes interchangeable used instead of the term sensors. Although there are suitable differences. A transducer is a term that can be used for the definition of many devices such as sensors, actuators or transistor. Wait, I used the word actuator here. Let me tell you about this. This is a device that is responsible for moving or controlling a machine or system. It is operated by a source of energy which can be mechanical force, electric current, hydraulic fluid pressure or pneumatic pressure and converts the energy into motion. This is how an actuator looks like. Have a look. Now coming on to bidirectional transducer. As the name suggests, it converts physical phenomena to electrical signals and also convert electrical signals into physical phenomena. Let me give you an example of bidirectional transducer. The best example which come in my mind is antenna which converts conducted electrical signals to propagating electromagnetic waves and vice versa. And these are how a bidirectional transducer looks like. There are some requirements of a good transducer and they all can be classified in 7 points. Point number 1 is linearity. Here the input output characteristic of a transducer should be linear. Point number 2 is rigidness. In this it should withstand overload with measures of overload protection. Point number 3 is repeatability where the transducer should produce identical output signal when the same input signal is applied at different times under same environmental conditions. Point number 4 is high stability and reliability as the transducer should not be affected by the temperature, vibration and other environmental variations. Point number 5 is good dynamic response. In this, the transducer should respond to the changes in input as quickly as possible. Point number 6 is convenient instrumentation. In this, the transducer should produce a sufficiently high analog output signal with high signal to noise ratio so that the output can be measured directly or after suitable amplification. And at last is point number 7 where the good mechanical characteristics matters a lot. In this, the transducer should not get affected through external forces or any other deformity affects the performance of the transducer. 
Thank you guys for watching the video. I would upload videos on different forms of transducers like capacitor transducer, LVTT and etc. So stay tuned with Explore Electronics as there is much more to explore in the electronics world. Uh, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Uh, till the next video. Bye bye.